The Blade Symphony is the latest combat game available through Steam Early Access. It is available for £11.99 and it is an online combat game where you can choose to duel from 2 to up to 32 opponents at present in the beta. It could be changed in the future and in this game combat is more focused on mastery of the controls rather than button mashing. So in this game there is a wide selection of weapons available, but rather than having to unlock the different weapons, you have the weapons available from the beginning. What is unlockable is the different, well let's say the styles, you know, the visual appearance of the weapons. So you can spend your in-game money, not actual money that you pay for, to unlock the different visual aspects of the weapons. Steam Workshop is also available to create your own style to have a truly customizable feel to your character. So you could have different weapons to the selection available if you are able to create your own 3D mapping, which may be more complicated than it seems, but it may also be easy. I have yet to try this because I don't have the software available to create my own custom design. But as you can see, the hilts and stuff that appear, this also may extend to being able to use this to create customizable clothes as a hidden part of the weapon, so you know, you cover the trousers with the weapon as well as a side aspect, so you could create different masks to us are currently available, different capes, different colours and different skins. Of course these are already available with the different characters, but you can have different skins and a fully customizable colour set with the different masks for the characters, but if they are, aren't available to create your own in the Steam Workshop then the get around is to do it with the sword as well. At least that is my belief. So, combat is currently in two players and you have to master the controls to be able to fight as effectively as these characters are currently doing. There are three different styles, which is the fast attack, the standard attack and the heavy attack. And between each move you can change between the different playstyles to master which will hit the hardest and which will be the most effective to counter your enemy's attack. So as you will see when I get a chance to play in this, you have to have learned how to play this game in order to master the controls and succeed, whereas if you just jump in and start button pushing, you will get your ass handed to you straight away. Because I don't know the controls, I've not mastered what works where, and there is no training at present, but this will be included in the full game. So, as you can see on the left, you have the fast, the balance and the heavy, and between the two you can change your playstyle up and down. It might be a good idea that because mouse button forward, mouse button back changes between the playstyles, you could make it so that while you're holding mouse button forward it goes to fast attack, while you're holding mouse button back it goes to heavy attack. But they could also just have this as a selectable, so you can choose which works best for you, but that would work best for me because then you could lunge in with the fast attack etc etc and it would feel natural on the playstyle. Now I'm trying to figure out what to do here and clearly getting my ass handed to me because I'm up against a far more skilled opponent than me and have yet to do any sort of shame. Now don't let this put you off the game because obviously there is a lot of potential for the game, it's just whilst there is no training at present. I was not able to do very well. So what you may have to end up doing is 
spawning yourself into a world and going to train like people do in real life in the early hours of the morning on their veranda just practicing the moves to see what works and what doesn't. Don't obviously try to attack the trees. It would be nice if the branches chopped down and there was some sort of physics but it's early access and you can get yourself stuck in some places floating in the air trying to get to parts of the map you're not necessarily meant to stuck on an invisible wall. Again, it's early access, you expect things to go wrong. In the full release these will obviously be sorted and the game will have more modes, more characters. But in this early state you can see that it's very smooth, even with the water effect it still manages to run on, you know, I've seen games where the recording software will slow down heavily with effects. This has all the particle effects and water effects, and water effects is one that really slows down and it is running as smooth as anything with the recording software going. So you'll notice the arc on the character, the little blue arc. Some of the environment is of course destructible but currently branches are not. But this blue arc allows you to see what move you will be performing when you swipe. Swipe is as simple as a click. So every left click is a swipe, every right click is a defense. And the mastery is in chaining from fast to balance to heavy in the required yeah. In the right manner to defeat your opponent's attacks and it's all about timing rather than button mashing because if you get it in the time wrong your opponents will see where the gap is as in real life to get in and defeat you whilst you swing away blindly. So you may have to until there are training dummies to sit out on your porch swipe away at the air and see what moves you can come up with and what works for you. So left and right movements initiates a left and right swipe just attacking while standing still to swipe forwards. There isn't some sort of defensive backward movement as yet but in a balance again the moves change and the left and right will alter. But the people who have mastered the skills better than I am able to, there is special moves available like breakdancing the accuser and wall running. There's obviously the extent for more samurai moves to be included in this, but as presents, they are welcoming input from people who have purchased the game and plan to play the game, so if you have any suggestions for any moves or any new game modes or anything that will improve the game, they are fully open to it, but as it stands it's a well programmed game, the gameplay works, the characters move correctly, there may be a little collision error and some of the scenery, especially in one of the levels where there's stairs that you would think you'd be able to walk up but you can walk through. That's just minor issues as again it's early access. In the full release all of these issues will have been sorted out. So I think you should check it out for yourself and see what you think. Uh, in the meantime if you want to challenge me I welcome challenges because I need opponents less skills to fight against in order to gain the prowess necessary to play the game and upon full release there will be a lot of less skilled opponents and you will have matchmaking to go against opponents of your own skill level rather than being outclassed straight away by someone who has played it far more than you. Or even the game developer who probably knows all of the moves and special attacks rather than me rushing in and getting my ass handed to me without landing a single hit. Trying to learn which character is the best. Oh yeah, and also there will be AI bots in full release, so 
you will be able to practice against an AI opponent in order to learn your moves as well, rather than having to rely on finding someone of relative skill level which might not be possible at present. So this is Blade Symphony on Steam Early Access, £11.99. I would recommend it's worth the value, especially if they add different game modes and different potential. There may even be a single player story, who knows. I mean, I would suggest this, it would definitely add value, but at present it's just the combat and the duels. And even at that, it's still a reasonable purchase, so I recommend you look out for it and look at it yourself. Thank you for watching, I will see you around.